Hey there, how are you? This is Crystal Lopez from crystalandcomp.com. I am so excited that you are here today. I'm gonna to show you how I made a big pot of chili for my large family. If this is your first time here, will you take a second and subscribe to our channel? We would love to have you. We share lots of Costco grocery hauls, Sam's grocery hauls, fun day in the life stuff, work at home mom, large family, raising lots of kids, all that, plus a bag of chips. You know how that goes. All right, so. Let's start off by, um, we're gonna dive right into this chili recipe and I always start with onion, olive oil, and garlic. So first I'm gonna chop up my onion. Onion. Let me know in the comments if you have tips for keeping an onion from making you cry or teary-eyed. Seriously, this onion was a whammy. And sometimes onions are fine, they don't bother me, and other times it's totally crazy. Um, but this one really got to me. We got it all chopped up and then we are going to add that to our large electric skillet. Now you can make this on the stovetop in a big Dutch oven or stock pot. I like to use my electric skillet. It is really big. It's nine by 13, maybe a little bit bigger. I got it on Amazon. My mom grew, when I was growing up, my mom cooked with electric skillets a lot and I just really like cooking in them and this holds so much more than you might think. So for this chili, I am using ground turkey. In the last two years, I have replaced a lot of the ground beef that I cook with uh, ground turkey. You can also use ground chicken. You can use ground beef if you want. Uh, you do it however you wanna do it, but I'm telling you, ground turkey, your kids, your husband, no one's gonna notice that you're using ground turkey. Trust me, just give it a try. Let me know what you think. It's really good. Um, I really like it. We use it for tacos, for spaghetti, for anything ground meat related. All right, so I started with the olive oil, the onions, and the garlic, and then I added in the ground turkey. Now, I didn't lay this ground turkey out early enough, and it was still a little frozen in the middle. That's okay. I do have a thaw board that I love to use, but still, I just didn't get this laid out in ample time. So I have a thaw board that I have used. I've had it literally since like 1997. I love it. It's amazing. I'll share a link below to it. I'll also share a link to this electric skillet in case you want to check it out. Um, the thaw board is amazing, but still I just wasn't as prepared as I should have been. And I didn't want to wait any longer because I really needed for dinner to be done in about 45 minutes. So that's what we're doing here. All right, I do love that meat masher. I use it all the time when I'm making spaghetti, chili, tacos, whatever, any type of ground meat. That chopper is amazing. I don't like for my meat to be super chunky, so I use it to kind of chop it down and make it really small ground type pieces. So um, the other thing that I love about this electric skillet is that it has an adjustable dial on the side and I can adjust. It's not just like high, low, medium. I can cook something at 300 degrees, at 400 degrees, on simmer, on warm, what have you. It is really customizable and allows me to really control the heat that is coming into whatever I'm cooking. All right, so for my chili, I am going to use crushed tomatoes. I'm gonna leave a link below to the recipe that's over on my site that I am using as my base for this um, chili recipe. Now, I'm basically kind of doubling it, so some of the measurements with what I'm doing based compared to what's in the blog post, it's gonna be a little bit different, but if you want a printable version of it, uh, you can get that over on my site and I'll leave it below. I am using canned beans. I have rinsed them and, and uh, run them through the strainer. This is about six cans of beans and it's pinto beans and black beans. Honestly, I really like to also use uh, the red kidney beans, but I didn't have any on hand. So, oh well, not a big deal. Use what you have. You can also, make chili using a pot of pinto beans, which is actually my favorite thing to do. Make a big pot of dry pinto beans in the slow cooker, cook it all day, and then once they're done, I use that as my base for my chili. Now here's my question to you. Do you prefer beans in your chili or no beans in your chili? That is like truly a huge controversy and people are very passionate about how they feel about this. Um, I like beans in my chili, actually, like I was saying, I like for the beans to kind of be the majority compared to the meat. What do you think? How do you do it? And what are your favorite types of beans to put in the chili? Or do you have a preference? I would love to know. 
Okay, so you'll also notice that I am adding the chili powder and the cumin myself. I'm not using a packet here. You can use a packet, but I like to use the, I buy spices in bulk, so I have pretty much every spice that you can, the most common basic spices, I have them on hand. So chili powder and cumin are something that I always have, and I like to do it this way so that I can kind of control how much of these things I'm putting in there where a packet is all pre-measured and it doesn't really give me so much control. Now, if you want to add some other spices to this, you can, but cumin and chili powder are enough and then salt and pepper. And let me tell you, as this begins to cook, the longer you cook it, the more the flavors are gonna kind of merge together. But also, um, if you, I'm wanting to get dinner on the table, like I said, in about 45 minutes, you don't have to let this set all day. You can. But you don't have to. And I save the leftovers. You can freeze them and reinvent them into something else like chili mac casserole or something like that or just save them and freeze them to have chili another day. Um, but day two this chili is even better because all the flavors are just intensified and super yummy. You may have also noticed whenever I put in the crushed tomatoes I ran some water through the can to get the last little bits of the crushed tomatoes that were in the can out. You can do that as well. And then you wanna add some broth. I did chicken broth because I'm doing ground turkey. You can do vegetable broth, you can do beef broth if you want to, no matter what kind of meat you're using, either one will work. Um, and you can do it straight from a container like I did, or a lot of times I use the Better, better Than Bouillon paste and I just add water and build my own uh, broth or stock that way. But since we had some bone broth on hand, I just went ahead and put that in and then added a little extra water as well. So at some point we're gonna put a lid on this and well, there you go. Now we're gonna put a lid on this and move it down to warm and just kind of let it keep simmering. I'm gonna tidy up. I'm actually getting the uh, sweet cornbread going. I like sweet cornbread. How do you like your cornbread? Do you prefer that it's sweet or not sweet? We like it sweet here in our house. Um, so I'm gonna get that going in the oven and then I'm also going to tidy up the kitchen, unload the dishwasher, and then reload the dishwasher with the dishes that I've dirtied up so that when dinner's done, it is so much easier to just get the kitchen cleaned up so that that's done and out of the way, okay? Um, I am going to leave out a couple of my spices. I left out the salt and pepper and I think I left out the cumin and the chili powder just so that a few minutes before I go to serve it, maybe 10 minutes before I go to serve this, I'm going to get some little, get a little bowl and I'm going to do a taste testing just to make sure that it doesn't need anything else. And a lot of times, especially with something that's tomato based, if it needs anything, it needs salt. But there you go. There's a picture of our cornbread. I like my chili with cornbread. Some of our kids eat it with Fritos, some eat it with tortilla chips, but there you go. We put some Greek yogurt on top or you could put sour cream and some cheese and dinner was done. It was absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comments, how do you like chili? And I'm gonna leave links to chili recipes over on my site on crystalandcomp.com so that you can make chili if the weather's getting nice and cool where you live too. All right guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, bye.